there's so many that I could give, but I picked three that were, for me, um, pain points at a certain point, right? So mm -hmm. rather than have those be pain points for others, maybe I can, I can give those to learn from. First of all, I would say use master versions of things. Um, so, you know, if you've got a VM that has an OS that you want to use in multiple places, put everything you might need on that OS on that one VM and use that in as many labs as you can. Then when it comes time to update stuff, you only have to do the updates in one spot. Mm -hmm. Take that from someone who's used to doing the updates in a hundred spots because <laughs> they did not implement this practice early enough, right? Um, and the same go, the same is true for child lab profiles, right? Using parent profiles and then making child profiles off of those. So you've only got to edit the parent instead of going to a whole bunch of places and making those changes or fixes. The next one would be try not to save differencing disks too often in your VMs. Um, try to be more intentional about what you, changes you're saving to the VM and when. Um, less differencing disks means that you have shorter load times and it means that you have less launch and boot errors when you're launching the lab. The last one I would say is use Scalable's VM templates. So, I mean, we haven't always had these. I used to bring my own ISO or download some unknown image off the internet, you know, <laughs> that I may need. Um, and you never know what's going to be on there. You know, obviously, if you're bringing your own that intentionally has things you want on it, that's a different story. But if you're looking for a blank OS or in many cases, even a certain server that has certain apps already installed, they have a really good catalog of images that you can use and it helps you get your lab spun up really quick and without, you know, with minimal issues. Uh, they're, they're pretty solid images from what I've seen. So Perfect. definitely yeah. take advantage of those.